let us stand and be called to worship. Behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all people. For to you is born this day a Savior who is Christ the Lord. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Please be seated. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Christmas. It's good to be together as the people of God and on this beautiful and warm night. Right now, I'd like to talk just to the children who are here tonight. And some of you who have been here before know that we have a tradition at Potomac Church where as part of our time together, we help the adults to understand four very important points. So I'm gonna go over them one by one and then ask you to say it with me so that everybody can learn. The first point is, God loves us very much. Can we say that together? God loves us very much. And I do appreciate the adults chiming in, and that's fine, we are all children of God, but we particularly want to hear from the children who have a lot to teach us. Okay, the second point is, because God loves us, God wants us to be good, no, to be happy. All right, need my notes. All right, so help me remember it. Because God loves us, God wants us to be happy. Let's try that again. Because God loves us, God wants us to be happy. The third point is the best way to be happy is to be good. All right, that's a short one. Let's see if we can do that together. The best way to be happy is to be good. All right, and the fourth point's a long one, but we'll get to it. The fourth point is God sent us Jesus to teach us to be good so that we can be truly happy. All right, let's just take that part by part, all right? God sent us Jesus, God sent us Jesus. to teach us to be good so that we can be truly happy. Excellent. Okay, let's go over all four points again. We're going to go over them one at a time. We're going to say them all together, especially the children. You're doing really well, and it's good to hear your voices. 
All right, the first one. God loves us very much. Because God loves us, God wants us to be happy. I was pretty, okay, we heard a chorus in the back. That's good. We got it. All right. The best way to be happy is to be good. All right. And God sent us Jesus to teach us to be good so that we can be truly happy, right? God sent us Jesus to teach us to be good so that we can be truly happy, right? You did an excellent job. And now let's just have a short prayer together. There are many ways to pray, but one way is just to fold our hands and be very quiet. I'm going to ask the children if you would say what I say. Dear God, Thank you for this day. And thank you for Jesus, who is to be born. Help us to love one another as you love us. Amen. Excellent. birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Okay, and as we get ready to sing, the holy family is going to come down the aisle. So we'll see Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus.
in that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And now as we sing, we invite the shepherds and all the friendly beasts and their flocks to come forward. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. As we sing, we invite the angels, the heavenly angels, to come forward. Now, in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star, his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes, the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, of Judah, are no, by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. 
Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star, the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I also may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. Then they saw that the st star had stopped, and they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And as we sing, we wait upon the wise men and perhaps the wise women as well to come and join us. Okay, now we're going to sing Silent Night, and we're going to be very still, and then we're going to kneel before baby Jesus, all right? So let's sing Silent Night all together, all right? The Holy Family can sit down if you like. Okay, you all are doing a very good job. Now let's come around the Holy Family and baby Jesus, and if we can all just kneel down together for a moment, and we'll have a prayer. Baby Jesus is being so good. Okay. 
we can all just kind of, yeah. Okay, and you say what I say, okay? Dear God, thank you for baby Jesus. Thank you for this night. Help us to be thankful and to worship him. Amen. Okay, that was excellent. And now we're going to let you go back with your parents, and thank you very much for being here. And baby Jesus and his family can also go back. That's great. I know, I see. Thank you. Again, I'd like to welcome everybody to the service of worship and this uh, time of remembrance and joy and festivity. And uh, just to have you know that you are welcome at Potomac United Methodist Church. And if you've been here for a hundred times, a thousand times, or for the first time, we ask that you uh, fill in information for the attendance form and then put it into the offering plate so that we can keep covenant with you. And also, if you're new to the church and you'd like to know more, uh, you've received a little bit of information in this pamphlet. This talks about our vision, our, some of our ministries, and our outreach on the back, uh, the way we give back to our community. So you're welcome to contact us to find out more, and we're very glad you're here with us. And in that spirit of gladness and thanksgiving, we wait upon the ushers to receive our offering.
We thank you, O oh God, for sending into the darkness of this troubled world the light of your Son. Let the star of your hope touch the minds of all the people with the bright beams of mercy and truth, and so direct our steps that we may ever walk in the way revealed to us as the shepherds of Bethlehem walked with joy to the manger where he dwelt, who now and reign. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the benediction, which we will read responsibly. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, may the work of Christmas begin to find the lost, to heal the broken, and let's go with it again, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among